Welcome to another episode of Lockdown Cocktails, where I attempt to make delicious drinks using stuff that you've probably already got in your cupboard. We're gonna start this episode with a quick question, or quiz if you like. What do the following three cocktails all have in common? Blood and sand, penicillin, and the coffee cocktail. You can pause right there if you wanna have a think about it. If not, I'll tell you the answer now. None of them contain the ingredients that are mentioned in the name of the cocktail. And we're gonna make a coffee cocktail today, which is perhaps a drink you'd expect to contain coffee, but it doesn't. This is a really old classic cocktail based on a flip recipe. Flips being drinks that have eggs in them, whole eggs, not just the egg white. And a coffee cocktail is comprised of brandy, port, egg, and sugar, shaken up, strained out. It's kind of a winter cocktail, Probably should have put this on the channel about a month ago because it's a great eggnog alternative in the lead up to Christmas. But the weather's still pretty cold outside and if you fancy something that's rich, warm, spicy, smooth um, and a little bit indulgent because of that egg, then this is a great drink to make. To make this drink, you're going to need uh, an egg, you're going to need some granulated sugar and then you're going to need a couple of bottles that are probably covered in dust at the back of your spirits cabinet or perhaps you got them left over from Christmas. You're going to need a bottle of port and you're going to need a bottle of brandy or cognac. The quality of these two is not crucially important because they're going to get eggified and sugarified and made cold, um, it, but it is important that you have them. You could probably switch out the brandy for whiskey or rum at a stretch, or you could actually leave it out altogether if you really want to. You're also going to need cubed ice. You're going to need a cocktail shaker or something to shake your drink in. I'm just using this drinks bottle today, which is, should work perfectly well. And you're going to need a glass to serve it in. You could do this one on the rocks, or like I'm going to do today, you can serve it straight up in this Nick and Nora glass, or a coupe glass, or a martini glass. Doesn't matter that much. Okay, let's have a go at making it. So we're going to start by adding a teaspoon of sugar. This is quite a small teaspoon, so I'm going to go a little bit more. You actually need a surprising amount of sugar in this drink to sort of combat that fatty protein nature of the egg. Next is the egg. Whole thing's going in there. Then onto our port and our brandy. Now, the ratios you use here are up to you. Uh, if you go heavy on the port and little on the brandy, that's actually a port flip. If you go heavier on the brandy and less on the port, then that is the coffee cocktail which we're making today. So I am gonna go for a kind of decent glug of port, probably a little bit more. But notice I'm not even measuring this drink. There's not much point really, since the ratios of these two ingredients are pretty fluid and obviously we're quite set with our egg size and our teaspoons of sugar. You want around about 70 milliliters or two ounces of liquid from these two in total. Give that a little bit of a swirl just to help that sugar start to dissolve. Once we get the ice in there and it's colder, it's gonna dissolve a little bit less. And ice. A bit like making a protein shake, actually. In fact, now I think about it, the ingredients aren't that different. <laughs> All right, clip the lid on, clip the shake. We're now going to find out how well this lid works as a strainer. Pretty good is the answer. And then just to finish it, you'll see this sort of start to settle out now. Just to finish up, if you've got it, some grated nutmeg on top or a little bit of cinnamon, some sort of winter spice, finishes it off nicely. And there you have a coffee cocktail. Cheers. For anyone who's a fan of eggnog, flip style cocktails, Tom and Jerry, which is another classic whole egg cocktail. You can't go wrong with this, it's, it's, it's really tasty. And um, I like the fact that you've got that kind of playfulness of, of ingredients where you can adjust the ratios between these according to your tastes or what you've got available at home. <laughs>